Hi, my name is Tessa Pierce Ward. And I'd like to talk to you today about sour mash protein gamer sketches for large sins. Sour mash is a command line and Python library for scaled minhash analyses. Minhash methods have been around for a little while and they compress data sets into sketches composed of representative uh, subset of their kamers. Um, and uh, we, we know that long DNA kamers, uh, kamer sketches can be used for distance estimation between samples. So we, if we have a genome A and genome B, then the sketch is here. We can compute the Jacquard index, the intersection over the union of those sketches. And as was published in, in 2015, 2016, um, the Jacquard has a relationship to nucleotide, average nucleotide identity. So we can get an estimate there. Saramash so actually uses a minhash variant, scaled minhash, uh, which enables us to do uh, both containment as well as Jacquard index. And in particular, this enables uh, comparisons between uh, sets of different sizes. The majority of minhash methods have focused on DNA kamers, um, which are most useful for differentiating between closely related sequences. If we have a couple, uh, example, 21 mers with two uh, base pair differences, in, in many cases, they are synonymous substitutions that uh, end up as the same amino acid. And in this example, uh, these two protein submers are exactly identical. So this is, um, this is just to illustrate that protein sequences allow matching across synonymous substitution. And of course we know this, uh, we've been using it for you know, BLASTX, uh, protein BLAST for quite a long time. And actually uh, MASH screen is, is the first example of using uh, protein kamers for, for some identification. We've been lately pursuing some other protein applications. In particular, we are exploring taxonomic classification. There's some challenges in this realm. Uh, reference databases uh, are often incomplete. Uh, Highly divergent genomes sometimes cannot be classified or incomplete and contaminated genomes can, can be misclassified. And of course, our goal is to enable real-time classification to keep up with the scale of incoming data. So we've built a snake make workflow on top of sour mesh um, that uh, allows us to string a few commands together to do this. So our first step is to use SARMESH Gather, which is a greedy minset cub algorithm to find the uh, best genome match. So to illustrate what this does, we have a novel genome with some strain variation in there. We can pick out the best reference genome here in blue. Um, and, and here I'm just kind of representing these, these two genomes are uh, different genuses, but the same species. Um, so they, they're a little bit different there. So we're able to get 60% match to, to the blue genome and, and we can find an additional maybe 25% match to the other one. And of course, some is unmatched. What we can do then um, with the text genome command is take the uh, reference taxonomic lineages assigned to each of those uh, best or matching reference genomes, and we can uh, transfer them onto the match percentages for our novel genome. So in this case, we're getting 60% to that species A and 25% and to that, that other reference genome species B. But because these are non-overlapping matched regions, or match percentages, we can actually sum that to get um, the percent match at the lowest, uh, the least common ancestor for these two. So in, in this case, genus X has an 85% match. So what we're using this for then is choosing a, a, a percentage or a, a threshold for when we consider a sufficient query match. And we can assign um, that classification that we get to, to our novel genome. Okay, so how well does this work? Uh, we decided to do first a comparison with um, GTDB TK. Uh, and we started out with a benchmark set of uh, 1,000 human gut uh, metagenome assembled genomes uh, for Magnify. And, uh, and these are all likely to have similar genomes available in reference databases. We got exact, we found exact lineage matches for about 95% when using the full GTDB recent release. And the additional around 4% of it actually all matched at the genus level. So, so this is, we think it's pretty doing pretty well, even though we're using currently a, a very naive classification threshold of 10% of the query. And we need to look into this a little bit further. Extending this to um, an environmental set of samples, we took 885 genomes from, uh, from the Tara Oceans, from the Delmont paper. Um, I think neither of them really classified all of them, but they got pretty close. Uh, and here we had exact matches at about 66% and some match at a higher lineage rank at 
And if we break those down, most of those lineage matches happened at the genus level. So we got the exact same genus level uh, classification, but uh, a different species was selected as the as the uh, exact classification. So we need to look into those differences there, uh, but it's promising uh, because this is a really lightweight whole camer or whole proteome camer based classification, which means it's likely going to be a, a little more uh, robust to incomplete and contaminated genomes. And then, of course, because it's camera based, it offers near real time classification. And with that, I'd like to thank you so much for listening. Um, and please do find us on Gitter, GitHub, uh, and, and everywhere else on the internet for, for questions and contributions. Thank you.